What you said, you ballin'? 1300 for my shoes, James Harden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ballin'. What you said, you ballin'? Franchise player, I should have a deal with Stalls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ballin'. What you said, you ballin'? 1300 for my shoes, James Harden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ballin'. What you said, you ballin'? Franchise player, I should have a deal with Stalls. Swish. Fuck up a brick if you ballin'. Yeah. Light up a zip if you ballin'. Yeah. All my niggas ballin'. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let the haters do the talkin'. 50k for a walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, wait, my boy Jack sound like good money on that joint, man. We gotta get you signed, baby. Hey, listen, man. Talk heavy radio. Talk heavy radio. Talk heavy radio. We back in the building, man. Another Talk Heavy Tuesday. Shout out to you for listening. Subscribe to us. We on our game. We trying to get this bag, just like you. You dig me? Big, big, big sports weekend. Whole lot of shit going on. Some of it in the NBA, some of it in the NFL, some of it even with some golf. My man Tiger was in it for a little bit and then he just dropped us. He left his club somewhere in the parking lot or some shit. And the motherfucker just fell off the map the last couple quarters, the last couple rounds or whatever. But in the beginning, his first round with the best round, he shot the Masters and then he fell off. But shout out to Johnson, him and his brother, you know, the number one golf player in the world. He ended up winning it. His brother was the caddy. Shout out to those boys that just won the Masters, man. Good job, good job, good job, good job. But um, let's go into these NFL games real quick. The Rams beat the Seattle Seahawks. The Seattle Seahawks is trending in the other direction. Oh, Russ is Russ. Mr. Do, Mr. Could Do Everything has been doing everything but win lately, you know. Turning the ball over. He is in the desperate situation because his defense isn't helping him. He was in the MVP conversation up until the last couple weeks, but a loss at Buffalo last week and a loss again this week to the division rival Los Angeles Rams is going to be hectic. Now on the Rams side of things, they looking okay, but I'm kind of skeptical on them. They had a couple suspicious losses, so I'm going to keep my eye on them. I suggest you do the same. But they did cover their money this week. I think they were three-point favorites or three-point underdogs. It was a pick em, that's for sure. And if you picked the Rams, you were correct. The next game was the um, Pats versus the uh, Pats versus the Ravens, man. Oh, my man, um, Killer Cam. Cam, 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 oh, Cam. Finally got the ship. Can't say it's going right. But at least they could build some momentum for two wins in a row. They was looking like Cam was about to be working at Walmart. Stocking those aisles, them yogurt aisles that he was doing commercials for. He was about to be stocking those aisles instead of doing commercials for them the way he was throwing the football. But he had some COVID-19 situations going on. New team, new system, limited skill positions around him. Really, really the offense is just Cam. So I understand the situation, but at the same time, because of him being such a polarizing figure, his options are so limited, man. You want Cam to win. That's what it comes down to. Cam has to win. And the fact that he losing could not only cost him money this year, it could cost the young man money next year. And one thing I don't want to see happen, you hear me, is a motherfucker losing some money. So when you hear me on this show, see or hear about somebody losing some money or giving money away, tears come to my eyes. My soul hurts, goddammit. Motherfuckers should be giving away no money. Hell to the no. Cincinnati went up against Pittsburgh. Big Pitt, only undefeated team left in the motherfucking NFL. Yellow fucking towels flying all around this bitch right now. I know my man, what's my man, the little rapper name that used to make black and yellow? That nigga there, probably up in having the time of his life right now, man. But that's just goes to show how relevant he is because can't even remember the nigga name. So he had a couple hits, but sorry, buddy. After you mess with old bald-headed girl, we forgot about you. But anyway, the Pittsburgh Steelers is doing great this year. Running a great football program. Good on defense, good on offense. Special teams is, mm, you know, not bad, but... You know, they getting better. 
Mike Tomlin continuing to get the best out of his players. And on the flip side, Cincinnati's growing. You went up against the most best team in the NFL. Your quarterback is still like that. He's a number one draft pick. He actually looks like a number one draft pick. A lot of people pick the number one pick for a quarterback and fuck that money up. You guys actually got it right. Continue to build around him. Continue to just try to get games under his belt. Get him get film so that he can understand the game. So when next year and y'all put more pieces around him, young buddy be ready to go. But shout out to Burrow. You're doing your damn thing, young boy. Don't get discouraged. Keep fighting. Keep throwing those touchdowns. My man. Can somebody say Hell Murray? Mm. Hell Murray. The Arizona Cardinals beat the New York Buffalo Bills by two points. 30 to 32 was a great, great game that actually came down to a Hell Murray scramble out of the pocket. Throwing it from left, his body was kind of awkward. 50 yards, flick of the wrist. My man, D. Hopkins, best hands in the game. In my opinion, best receiver in the game. All you seen was the Jordan emblem. Shout out to Mike. He made some good gloves. Because boy, he caught that ball with three people in his vicinity. I can't say around him because a couple things happened. One defender ran into another. He had good position, but he was the tallest one of those people. Had the most vertical jump. I seen Skip, shout out to Skip Bellis, was talking about that earlier today, about how much taller he was and how much of a vertical jump he had over the guys that he was grabbing the ball. But it was still a well-timed jump by a great player making a great play. Shout out to the Arizona Cardinals. Y'all doing the big things. And Let's see if y'all can make it to the playoffs, baby. Let's see if y'all can make it to the playoffs. The Tom Pabe and the Carolina Pied Panthers. Mm, 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 mm. See what happened when you disrespect the OGs? You're talking bad about Tom. He lost against the Saints and had only a couple points on the board. The motherfucker came back and dropped 46 on you. Piped you. Took my man Teddy Bridgewater out of the goddamn game. Teddy just got some bad luck. Hope you get healthy, Teddy. Come on now, baby. We don't want to see you go down. Stay strong, stay strong, Teddy. We want to see you bounce back. Shout out to Teddy Bridgewater. Hope you get healthy. Shout out to Tom Brady bouncing back, having a great game plan. They got weapons all around the place. Defense looking solid. Coaching is half ass to me because when you got the GOAT, you ain't got to really do too much good coaching. And I don't like the way he be talking about Tom Brady. So until you start winning Bruce Arians, watch your motherfucking mouth when you're talking to Tom. Because if I hear about you talking about Tom like that again, I'm going to have to call my man, Mr. Brady, and get your ass in check, nigga. So watch yourself. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. The worst team in the league is so hard to find. You don't know if it's the Jets, you don't know if it's the Eagles, you don't know if it's the Redskins, you don't know if it's the Texans. But you know it's one of those motherfuckers and the Texans was another team that just stinks up the joint. They lost to the the, the Cleveland Browns 10-7 and I watched the score on the bottom of that game and it was like 3 to nothing for about two quarters. Motherfuckers probably couldn't even get past half. I don't even know what the hell was going on down in Cleveland. They said it was bad weather. I don't know what the hell was going on. Maybe they needed to play the, on the football field in vans. And everybody just got vans lined up down the way. Then there was snow cones or snow trucks or something. to get somebody to score something. Because you guys looked it horrible. The sc- I couldn't even see the game. And I could tell y'all looked horrible. Just from looking at the ticker on the bottom of the scoreboard. Somebody got to do something. And Baker Mayfield... You about the luckiest mother son of a beep in my life. You hear me? You got lucky because you got two good running backs. You done had coach after coach after coach. And everybody don't blame nobody but you. And man, listen, man. You just got to do better, buddy. You just got to do better. I am just, I am disappointed in you. You just got to do better. You just got to do better. But that's my NFL wrap-up. You know, um, Minnesota... Vikings won last night against the Bears. Oh, Nick Foles, man. He can't get right, can't get wrong. You don't want him a Super Bowl. At least take your bag and go home, brother. You done made you a couple dollars. You done got you a couple rings. Nobody appreciates you no more because they say you're stinging up the joint. Just go home, man. Just go home, man. And 
I'm happy for my man Mike Zimmer. Shout out to Mike Zimmer, coach of the Minnesota Vikings, steering the ship around. They was one and four. Everybody was counting them out. They reeled off three in a row, getting busy. You know what I mean? So shout out to them, man. Shout out to them. Man. If I made any mistakes, man, please be feel free to subscribe. Give me some good game. Correct the motherfucker because I'm trying to be on top of mine like you on top of yours. This is the Sports Radio. Shout out to my man Jaxo on the background. Doing this little one thug busy. We out here. We trying to give the people what they want. Good sports information. Great commentary. Great people. We trying to be great. Just like you trying to be great. So stay on top of your game. We going to stay on top of ours. Love y'all. Peace.